Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about two-way ANOVA and how to implement it in Minitab. So this is our data set. In our data set, I'm going to produce a two-way ANOVA and then I'll determine which factors. Here we have two factors, temperature and pressure. Which factors are crucial to the outcome, I mean the response variable. And then well, basically, this should be performed first. Determine the skewness, kurtosis, coefficient of determinants, this type of descriptive statistics of the response variable. So, in our case, the response variable is the defect. This defect is our response variable, which is stored here. Now, let's move on to Minitab. So, first thing first, we need to bring those data in Minitab. So let me pull one new project here. Okay, in my new project, I'm going to copy paste the data set. So I have copy pasted my data set. Now the problem is, in our data set, we have factor 1 and factor 2 and the response variable. But it's not supposed to be this way. Let me explain this. In our data set, we have x1 and x2, the factors, and y. This should be the format. Factor 1 in one column, factor 2 in another column and then response. To make that happen, we need to create separate column. Say temperature, pressure and response. Here, first of all, I will be making some stacked data. Store data in here, C5. I need to replicate these values high temp, mid temp, and then low temp. I need to replicate these values. If we had same only one letter, we didn't need to put these inverted commas here. Since we have spaces here, we need to put inverted comma. Now, how many times we need to replicate? We need to replicate high temp five times then mid temp 5 times and here we have 3 so here we will have 5 and the sequence will be repeated 3 times so this is done now I need to stack it stack the column so stack the following columns which column we need to stack these three columns column c2 c3 and c4 we need to stack these three select and then here we'll put the response and optional is the pressure okay so you can see this is our x1 this is x2 and this is y